remembers this game, Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII was released back on the PlayStation 1 back in 1999. Well, guys, believe it or not, but the game was really voted as the 22nd best game of all time by the readers of Japanese magazines. The 22nd best video game? Well, even though it wasn't close to being number one, it was pretty damn a good game to play. I remember playing this game a very long time ago when we had our PlayStation 1. I remember I would play Final Fantasy VIII every single day with my brother and my dad. We just love we just love this game to death. I remember I remember every day after school, me and my brother would get done doing our homework. We would wait for our dad to get off, get off of work, and then we would just play Final Fantasy VIII. And we would always take turns playing this game. God, I love back memories. And, well, for some of you guys who don't know, Final Fantasy VIII was definitely the first Final Fantasy game I ever played, and it was absolutely the first RPG game I ever played. Well, did I enjoy Final Fantasy VIII? Well, I sure damn did. Not just because I played it a long time ago and it's one of my childhood favorites, it's because I really did enjoy the game. It was fantastic. This was definitely one of the best games I've ever played on the PlayStation 1, even though I might piss off some of you guys that I said that. Even though Final Fantasy VIII is a love and a hate game, we all should not be surprised there. But enough about the flashbacks, let's hurry and jump into the review of Final Fantasy VIII. Well, for some of you guys who don't know, Final Fantasy VIII has over four freaking discs. I mean, I mean, goddamn. So that means the story is pretty damn long. But you guys should know in my reviews, I put the story, I put the story short and simple so you guys can understand. But here's the story plot to put it short. The game's story focuses on a group of young mercenaries who are drawn into an international conflict and seek to protect the world from evil sorceress who is ma manipulating the world of her own purpose. The main protagonist is Swallow Leonhart. He's a 17-year-old boy loner and the student at the Military Academy Babylon Garden who is trained to become a seed and a mercenary paid by the Academy. So honestly, that's the plot for you. But honestly, the story gets really more confusing in Disc 2, Disc 3, and mostly Disc 4. So the story gets hard to understand what the hell is going on. But other than that, the story is pretty good to listen to most of the time. So I give the story pretty good. Now, back then for his time, Final Fantasy VIII had one of the best graphics me and my brother had ever seen on the PlayStation, next to Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1. Even the, some of the CGI cutscenes even looked somewhat real back then. So, I just gotta say, even though Final Fantasy VIII is somewhat of a pretty good game, I have to say the graphics were pretty good for its time, so, I love the graphics. As for the music in Final Fantasy VIII, I have to say, it's pretty darn good itself. I love the battle theme, the boss theme, and, well, I know a lot of people nitpick on the main thing called Eyes on Me. Well, honestly, I'm not gonna say I actually like that song. I well, actually, I never did. When I first heard it for the first time when I was a kid, it was alright. But once you listen to the song Eyes on Me, you can barely understand what it's about. I mean, most songs tell you what they're what they're usually talking about. Like for example, Simple and Clean, the Kingdom Hearts thing. Now I'm pretty sure if you listen to that song like a thousand times like I do. We all know that that song is about Sora and Kyrie about them being together. Well somewhat, that's what I think it's about. But Eyes on Me, it has nothing related to do with Squall and Riona or any relationship in Final Fantasy VIII. Eyes on me, um, I wouldn't say it's a bad song, but it's kind of a confusing one to understand. But besides that, all the other music, the battle themes, and all the other themes in Final Fantasy VIII, it's just awesome. It's horrendous. But Eyes on Me, I don't know. Okay, now let's go into the gameplay now of Final Fantasy VIII. Well, not much has changed, except for the summonings. Yep, it's this time, they're not called summonings this time. In Final Fantasy VIII, they're not called GMs, which is AKA, which I am pretty sure they stand for Guardian Forces, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm naming it right, but GFs for sure. This one you can also summon, I mean, use your GF monster to summon, you know, monsters. But just like old Pokemon style, you have to kick their ass, and then they serve you, and then, of course, you name those guys. But of course, another thing is also new is drawing magic. The more you draw magic from your ball from the bosses or the main enemies, then you can also equip them into your magic, and then you also have it. You can draw fire spells, thunder spells, cure spells, and you'll have them. And also, when you draw those spells, you can also junction them inside your character. You can make your strength stronger, your defense stronger, you attack your attack stronger, and you know, so it's a lot more easier than. It's a lot more easy to draw the magic. The only thing that's boring is that drawing can take like hours, and I mean drawing can take a lot, a lot of hours to equip 
to equip it to your character, and then it can be a part of your magic. It gets really boring after a while. But also, let's get into the GFs now. Of course, just like your normal characters, the more you use your GF, the more stronger your GF will become. So I recommend using the GFs a lot sometimes. Another new thing to the gameplay is the limit breaks. Oh hell yeah, well, this is definitely one of the best things I love about the game. Now to get your limits ready, now limit breaks is a special special move that each character has, but that doesn't mean that you can just use it automatically like, ooh I can use it whenever I want. No, when your character is low on HP, whenever the number turns yellow, your character is ready for their special limit. So how do you activate it? Well if you rapidly keep tapping the circle button, your character will be powered up into a limit break. Each character has it, but for me, I think Squall has the best one out of all of them though. Now, this is a Final Fantasy game we're talking about, so of course when it comes to a Final Fantasy game, we're gonna, there's somewhat love connections going on. So yeah, there is a love, there are a couple of love relationships going on in this game. So if you're one of those type of gamers who can't stand love relationships, well, this is not the game for you, because trust me, there's a lot of love relationships going on in this game. I hope you guys don't mind, but I have to nitpick a little bit on Final Fantasy VIII. One of the things I did not like in the gameplay was these card playing games. Now, I can't put my full opinion on it because I haven't played it for a very long time, but last time I remember playing it a long time ago when I was a kid, it was somewhat fun and it was a little too confusing to understand. But the more you play them and the more you start winning in these card playing games, it can be the main story. Yeah, really. Being, playing these card playing games can be one of the main story going on right now. But then I always wondered, why are they doing playing the cards so much? It's so boring. I didn't find it nowhere fun. And actually, some people did do a walkthrough of the game playing the card games. I can't stand playing an entire game playing just these annoying card game things. They're too boring. You know what also bothers me? I've always thought about it. Why is Squall and the others playing the card playing games with everyone around the world? I mean, what are they doing? They're playing card games while the sorceress is taking over the world. I could never understand that. So, overall, Final Fantasy VIII has more storytelling, there's a lot more relationships, there's a lot more items, there's a lot more monsters, drawing, magic, there's GFs, there's a lot more characters, a lot more everything going on in this game. So if you're, not, so if you're an RPG fan, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, you haven't played Final Fantasy VIII, well, I highly recommend Final Fantasy VIII. It's really one of the best RPG games I've played when I was a child, it's still one of my favorites. So, if you still have your PlayStation 1, your PlayStation 2, your PlayStation 3, or your PSP, PSP Go, then I really, really recommend Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII is now downloadable on the PlayStation 2, PSP, in the PlayStation 1 classics. So I really, I really say check it out if you're an RPG fan or a Final Fantasy fan. So guys, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching this review. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later and take care.